Salam sejahtera, my friends. Penang is the second smallest state in Malaysia, but its GDP per capita is among the top in the country. From 2015 to 2020, Penang had the highest GDP per capita among all other states after the federal territories. Penang is also a magnet for foreign manufacturing investment, receiving 74 billion ringgit in 2021, the highest in Malaysia. Although the land size of just 0.3% of Malaysia, Penang accounted for 41% of the country's total foreign investment in 2021. But Penang has not always been an economic powerhouse. After Penang lost its free port status in 1969, the state's unemployment rate shot up to 20%. Penang's poverty incidence in 1970 was 44% and Penang's GDP per capita was actually 12% below national average. So, what happened that has changed Penang's condition from a poor state into a successful state today? It actually was a waitress. Back then, Penang's state government was looking for foreign investors to build factories in the state. The government provided tax incentives at the Bayang Lepas Free Trade Zone to attract investors. But who would want to come to Penang? Penang was not the only one in the world that wanted to attract investors. Everywhere wanted investors. Competition was very fierce. Investors were travelling around the world to look for location to build factories. One of them was the technology giant HP. Their founders came to Penang to study if the state is suitable. They stopped by a restaurant for dinner and a waitress came to serve them and she saw HP's scientific calculator on their table. Back then, there was no smartphone. The scientific calculator was considered as an advanced technology. So she asked them in English if she can try using the calculator. They said, go ahead. So the waitress picked up the calculator and was able to use it. So the HP founders were surprised. They thought to themselves, if a waitress in Penang can speak good English and know how to use the latest technology, then Penang's population will be suitable for them to invest. So they chose Penang and opened their HP factory in September 1972. HP setting up factory in Penang was very significant because it gave confidence to the other big companies to invest in Penang. That was how the big eight multinational corporations came into Penang. The eight were Hewlett Packard, HP, National Semiconductor, Intel, Advanced Micro Devices, Bosch, Clarion, Litronics, and Hitachi. They are known as the eight samurais that kick-started the electrical and electronic E&E &E sector in Malaysia. The country's E&E &E export in 2020 worth more than 380 billion ringgit, accounting over 39% of Malaysia's total export. The entire sector was born in Penang. Penang was a poor state with high unemployment. Now. It is a successful state and among the most progressive in the country. All because of a local waitress who knew English and advanced technology. Many suggestions have been given on how our state and country can grow and become more competitive, especially now when we are stuck in middle income trap, struggling with inflation and brain drain, and our ringgit suffering from devaluation. I believe we can learn from the waitress who has saved Penang's economy.